So this thing here should be the size of a human chest. You get a log, a wooden log, this thick, this long. So you touch about one third on the top. And the bottom is, you cut it, that it's almost uh, round like a ball. So it rolls. And it, like this is very easy, but a heavy log is heavy. You can't, it's hard to hold it. So you go like this. Instead of this way here, you roll it like this. And it has weight. And the bottom, if you actually like the chair idea, you put it in between something, it cannot go away. So you roll it like this. Although it does not move, it cr the bottom does not move, is pivoted, the top has a size. That size creates a lot of velocity and the momentum. And it's very difficult for you to hold it. That's the exercise for doing this. So when there is momentum, your chest has to be able to do this to reduce it. If you, if you are only moving, you are going to fall down. So that's the exercise. And uh, that's the original exercise I learned. So in Canada, I created the exercise uh, John Upshaw did. So I'll go lightly because if I go heavy, the wall will break. So now I'm against a wall here. This is my center. So I go off so that I'm actually leaning back. And when I lean back, my body is like a log. I have to fall onto it. Our problem is when we lean back, I go sideways for you to see. We like to break this here by doing this. It's lost. It doesn't matter if it's this way or this way, it's lost. It has to be like a log. And you slam onto the wall. On the slamming, you tilt it like this. Now can you see your body has to be like this. Your stance is very big, you start doing this. Then gradually, like, like this, gradually they fall. The back is only a few inches from the floor. So if you are being pushed, we normally, this push, we stabilize and then we make a move. Now being pushed, it just goes back and hits him. Same as you are being pulled, you want to stop and hold your posture and then push him. Now when he pulls you, you just go like this and it becomes a push on him. You move like this. It cannot be with no circle you manipulate your body. This is what I mean by you're doing it. No, you're not doing it. You're just setting it up. Setting it up, it goes on its own. So what did you guys see? Actually, look at the front foot. When I go forward, it lands, the heel comes up. When I go land, the toe comes up. All the moves are based on here. And then with a little bit of rotation of the quad, you create a three-dimensional move. The power is when I go slow, I'm standing here. Let's see here. As my opponent pushes me, and when I do this here, the power goes to my hand, it goes this way. If I have any move, the power comes to me. So this only goes here. When I push my toes forward, the power on the, my arm is that way to him. If I have a little bit of this, I confront my opponent, power bounces back here. It's only one piece. I use this arm to show you that it's one piece because this part of the rotation destroys your view. You cannot see it. You can see this here. It's a stiff. It's one piece. There is no move like this. Lock, you only move like this. Can you see the circle on the tip? It's like that. There is no movement. If there's a movement, you lose it. So your move is actually you are going over, you are completing it. Most people think you are doing this, you are going to fall. Actually, you have this there. You are con they only see the first half. You actually, the first part, you actually have another part that's not there yet. Once you use it, the, actually this part will work. So now you realize, the, some of you, uh, uh, Michael met uh, Feng uh, uh, once. Feng's signature move actually is like this. He's always doing this. But everybody is training like that move. They do not know you are that move. Actually, you are imagining your back is hitting the wall. And if you only train this, it's, it's 
going to be useless. If that move does not work, your opponent is, is larger or stronger, if this move you're doing here, if that does not work, you actually can let go of this also. You can let this go. If you let this go, you have to lock the front knee. Your front knee cannot move. So, so this move you're, you're moving, you're moving the top, but you're locking your, your leg. Then you can also add this to your movement, but that knee cannot move. It makes you larger. It just becomes larger. At the very largest, you, only your heel is on the floor that does not move. But the more, the, again, uh, John, uh, I mentioned an idea to you, is that the more you go lower, actually you are more secure. But the feeling is that you feel more danger. And you have to overcome that. So for the human fighting move, the lower you are to the ground, the safer you are. But humans feel that you are going to fall. So there is a threshold. When you fall from the top, you hurt yourself. If you fall from a very, very low position, it's not even a fall anymore. 